Virgo, what the hell do they want? You got somebody contacting you from the past. What the hell do they want now? Okay. Messages from the person who is contacting Virgo. What the hell do they want? Got the Nine of Pentacles. They want you. What the hell do they want? String card. What the hell do they want? Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. They can't stop thinking about you. They're trying to figure out what they need to do to get back into your good graces. Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. This person coming back. They want to come back. What do they want? What the hell do they want? They, they, it's taking this person a long time to contact you, Virgo. Um, yeah, the Eight of Swords. This person is, is, is it's taking a lot for this person to try to come communicate with you. Uh, there's nothing truly holding him or her back. Um, but the, this is you. You have this Nine of Pentacles energy here. They know how, how amazing you have always been, how studious you are, how, how smart you are. Maybe a little arrogant, but they, they dig that in you. Um, but something or someone right now is holding this person back from communicating with you. It's like they're afraid to. Their 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 um their ego is what's holding them back because they they have a huge ego. Um, so that ego is is holding them back. Though they have probably already communicated with you, they're not telling you why. They're just making small talk. I told you my ex in another reading that he he mentioned a bracelet, a friendship bracelet that I gave him back in 19. 95 or whatever. Is that why you really wanted to contact me to talk about a bracelet? <laughs> you know? And we have the hairpin. Mm. This person is seeing the light. This is big. This is huge. This is this person saying, damn, that's my soulmate. That's the one who I want to marry. That's the one that I should have married years ago. They realize that now. They 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 probably already came for it, but they they don't have the balls to tell you what they really want. They picture you being around other people and having other people see you, almost as if you know you, this person is living their life probably somewhere else, totally different than where you live, but they're still esoterically watching you. I know you can't see that it's kind of fuzzy. But they, it's like a piece of them feels like they are always around you. It's like they're they're trying to read your inner energy. They're probably looking at readings as well, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with you. Probably watching readings. I'm hearing in the back of my head probably are a cross watcher, <laughs> one of those cross watchers who watches your readings. Okay. But we have this six of cups energy. This person knows that that you are a strong soulmate for them. Clarify the hair offering here for Virgo. What in the hell does this person want? They're thinking about many, hold on. A million ways to please a woman. I don't know there's a song or something like that. They're thinking about how many different ways that they can love you. How many different ways they, they could have loved you in the first place, but they didn't. Okay. Six of Pentacles. They know that you gave so they know that you gave more. When you were together with them. They realized that you gave more. Okay. Now they're wanting to come back and, and say I want to wipe the slate clean. I want us to be in a relationship where there's equal give and take and respect. But they're trying to figure out different ways to do it. They're, they're, they're contemplating. Some of them are using spell work to get you back. Not everybody. Because a lot of people aren't into spell work. I'm sure in the hell I'm not. Um, but I definitely see uh, them trying to figure out different things that they can say. What can I say to her or to him to communicate with him to, like I said, they may, may think of something just off the beaten path to talk to you about. And that's not really why they want to contact you anyway. They, they just need a way to see where, how they can get in. What can they say to you to, to grab your attention to see if they can pull you back. Okay. Because you're everything. You're the star. You're the beauty. You're the handsome king or queen or prince in their life. And they want to come back and, and, and share their love, share their, their growth with you. 
to say, I want you in my life because I know that you were the one, the one person that, that really, really did love me. This Knight of Cups. And this is what they really want to tell you. This is what the hell they want. They, they're, they're going through some things. This person is going through some life-changing events. Maybe they're getting older and they and getting wiser. And they know that this is who they want. They want you. You know, they are reflecting. Uh, reflecting on their lives. Thinking. And wondering if you still have feelings for them. Laying back thinking, you know, oh, does she still have feelings for me? You know, how would it be if we were to hook up again and, and be together, be in a relationship again? Hmm. Okay. This is. Let's see if I can remember this poem. In that was how long? This person loves you. They maybe you wrote them poetry, or they wrote you poetry. Very very poetic conversations that you two had. There was a king. Something about well, this poem called Annabelle Lee. I was a love, and she was a lot a love. I am my Annabelle Lee. Maybe this person was, was younger than you, a lot younger than you. You couldn't be together at the time. Kind of like a Romeo and, you, Romeo and Juliet. Joe, where did that come from? A Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. Hey, Siri, show me the, the Annabelle Lee poem. Okay, I found this on the web for show me about the Annabelle Lee poem. Hold on, y'all. Okay. It was many and many a year ago in the kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom, whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. That a maiden there lived by, I said that, by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and to be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I am my Annabelle Lee. With the love that the winged syrups from heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my Annabelle Lee. So anyway, I don't know why I need, needed to read that. I used to know the poem by heart, but I haven't said it in so doggone long. You know, but um, I think that this was possibly a, a younger person. It has something to do with the family's not wanting the two of you to connect with each other. Um, people were jealous of the connection, so both of you all ended. Maybe one person ended, the other person said, well, screw what they say. I love you. I want us to be together or whatever. But this was like a, a very tumultuous relationship. Like I said, it's the energy of, of Shakespeare. Uh, the energy of a Shakespeare. The energy of a Shakespeare. Shakespearean play or something like this soliloquy uh, a bunch of writing a bunch of, of, of professing your love to one another that's the star young 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 energy young pure energy the king of wands and they want to come back queen of cups this person <laughs> overall energy this person is up at night thinking about you Virgo definitely up at night thinking about you we have you being the young, younger in the relationship with this person and this person realizes what they've lost and they want to come back. They want to come back on their horse and say I'm coming back to get you but you're like I don't think I want you bro. That's over with. I'm grown. I'm older now. I'm moving on with my life. I know what real grown up love feels like. So it's like you're, you're pouring out that person's love. You're going to always have feelings and emotions for that person male or female but you're moving on. It's like it's, there's no love. There's no love lost. Okay. What the hell does this person want? They want to rush back in. Something about where, where fools. They want to be a fool rushing in. After what they did to you. Now the Queen of Pentacles. But you can do very well on your own as well. You remember what that person did to you. You know your value. You know your worth. So I don't think that you're going to to give this person this this, this talk because what what they want here they stab you in the back. What what you, they don't realize is you're coming if they're coming back to tell you that they love you, to tell you that it, it never died, that their feelings for you never died. Okay, but I think you're done. 
you're finally able to move on after being out of this person's life for so long you're finally at a place in your heart where you're able to release it and it's too late it's too late it's too late too much too little too late to ever start again mm -mm. no more no more can't open up something that's gone it's too late this person gonna sit down their cup of love and they're gonna see if you're gonna pour some of your love if some of your love gonna fall off into their cup because you're done they're gonna be sadly mistaken when you done moved on with your life and either got with somebody else or hooked up with somebody else or, or just happy single they've been coming for a long long time and now that they're with you now that they're near you they just want to sit back and see what's going to happen they want to sit back and see what's going to happen with you because they, they say I've grown, grown up I've learned so much from life and the only thing I real, realized and discovered is that you're not there see Tal, you're not there with me and that's the one thing in my life that I'm missing is you. And it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. We belong together. And you know that I'm right. <laughs> I'm getting chills. <laughs> Just won't come back to me, will you? Whatever that boy to me was saying. He said, you won't come back to me now, will you? Or something like that end of the road this person knows that, that you all have come to the end of the road but it's a little bit too late now for them to start getting on their knees and singing this fucking song to you it's done okay it's done over done with and gone burn it burn it in so they won't come back out texting and they see you know this is what they want totally different places different locations but all they see is you all they see is you and all who and who they want is you <sighs> what's gonna happen what the hell do they want Virgo they want you back but what's gonna happen what the hell does this person want take a chance okay they're trying to be strategic you know they're really not telling you exactly what they're doing you like I said they're they're not letting your left hand know what their right hand is doing they may do a bait and switch may text you hey how you doing whatever whatever friendship bracelet or however it is they're gonna ask you something and then that's when everything else is gonna come out you know but they figure they gotta get you they gotta bait you and then they're gonna switch you and change it and turn it around to them telling you how they feel about you transcending obstacles learning you know learning expansion new phase preparing for union this is what this person honestly wants to do what the hell do they want they want to rekindle this connection but they're not telling you that they're going to try to ease their way up in there okay first final card what the hell do they want what the hell do they want breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. They don't want a motherfucking thing with you. Well, that's what you're going to tell them. I'm done. It ended a long time ago. Why are you back? Because they never forgot you. They never forgot. The snake. Being clever and malicious. Uh, the other woman. It was probably another woman. Which is why you all broke up to begin with. Because they weren't ready. But anyway, we can talk about this so much. You all I'm blue in the face about breaking exes and wanting to come back but yeah the ultimate thing though it's not about this person uh wanting to come back uh, but ultimately this reading was pretty much about what, what the hell do they want the bait and switch they're going to come in all innocent with something very very simple it's reminding you of some sort of memory or something and all of a sudden that's when their feelings and stuff are going to come out all right i hope it resonates